I am David, your developer on Duty, and in this video we will have a look at three fast terminal emulators. There are many terminal emulators out there, but the performance of most of them is suboptimal, especially when you're using terminal-based text editors like Vim, Cocoon or Emacs, you will experience sluggishness which is very hard to measure but easily noticeable. In recent years, there have been some great improvements in the space of GPU accelerated terminal emulators, which address the performance problems. After switching to them, I don't experience any delays anymore, which greatly improved my developer experience. Here's a list of three popular GPU based terminal emulators to choose from. The first one is called Alacrity, which is a fast cross platform OpenGL terminal emulator which is written in Rust. The developers say that it's beta quality, but I found it very stable and pleasant to use. This is how it looks like, plain and simple, as it should be. The configuration is done using a YAML file, and for each release the developers provide a configuration, including documentation for every setting. It looks like this. You can see it's extensively documented, and there are many settings, from window management to colors and fonts, and even a VI mode. The biggest downside, at least for me, is that there are no splits or tabs, therefore you either need a window manager or a terminal multiplexer. The second one is Westherm, a GPU accelerated cross-platform terminal emulator and multiplexer, also written in Rust. It looks like this, and as you can see there is also a tab bar on top, and you can create and switch to tabs. The configuration is done using a file, westterm.lua, where you can use the programming language Lua to configure Westterm. And you can, for example, choose one of those many predefined color schemes, set fonts, and so on. And all those configurations are extensively described on the official web page. The last one, which is also my terminal of choice, is Kitty a fast, feature-rich, GPU-based terminal emulator. This is how it looks like, and it supports, for example, tabs, where you can switch between them. It also supports Windows. And the configuration is done using a file, kitty.conf, where you can configure your color scheme and your key bindings, as well as your fonts and so on. And all those configuration settings are described on the website. The biggest downside is that it only supports Linux, macOS, as well as various BSDs. So if you're a Microsoft Windows user, you need to use a different terminal emulator. That concludes my list. I'm interested what your favorite terminal emulators are. Please post it in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.